In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a basic multiple choice quiz question using the default form structure. So let's go ahead and open up a new quiz. And what we want to do is add a graded question. So we're going to select that. And you can see I've got a number of question types to choose from. I'm going to choose multiple choice. Essentially, they're all going to use a form. So they, they're pretty much the same in the way they're structured. So we'll do multiple choice question. We insert that. And you'll notice what it does is it gives us a form to fill out. So I'm going to add my question here, my choices. I choose a correct option. I can change my feedback. If I want to insert some media, I can do that. And then uh, you can see I've got some options and how I want to work with the question, shuffle the answers or uh, change the number of attempts and all of that. We're going to keep this real simple. So we're going to just do a simple question, uh, which is uh, which fruit is red. So I'll have a picture of some fruit. Uh, I'm going to make one of my choices apple, uh, banana, and uh, we'll say an orange. And then I can change my feedback here. I'm going to choose apple. That will be our select. That will be our correct one. Now I want to insert a picture. I happen to have this here. So insert media. We'll picture from file. You can see I've got some pictures here. I'm going to choose this one with the three fruit on it. Open. I'm going to insert that. You'll notice down here in the corner, it actually shows you uh, what the quiz question is going to look like. So by default, we're using the form. So we'll have the title, our questions, and our pictures right here. So um, we're going to go with what we have. So we have our question, our choices. The correct choice is Apple. If I want to, I can modify the feedback. We're going to go ahead and keep what we have. If we wanted to change it, we can just uh, change it here or we can click on more and then that gives us additional options. We can change the text. We can read or record some audio. Uh, we can also branch to blank slides. So we can uh, branch to certain slides if we if we wanted to do that. But we're going to go ahead and keep the default. So let's go ahead and see what we have. We hit preview. We're going to preview this slide. And what we have is our default quiz question. So that's basically it. So uh, if we come backwards, uh, you select your type of question, you'll get this form, and then you can fill in the form, add your media if you want to, uh, modify your feedback, and you'll be all set. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to actually make a more custom looking quiz question. But if you want to get quizzes done quickly, uh, using the form is a great way to go.